Welcome to Now in Android. This week we have the 2021 Android Dev Summit, the Android 12 AOSP launch, the launch of Android Basics Unit 6, the conclusion of our Hilt, and the beginning of our paging modern Android development series, Play Console user management updates, permissions auto reset to older devices, Wear OS Jetpack Library is going to stable, more of our accessibility series, App Excellence, Android 12 Work Manager and System UI, and Camera X analysis updates. Android Dev Summit returns on October 27th through 28th, 2021. The show kicks off at 10 a.m. Pacific time on October 27th with The Android Show, a technical keynote with all the latest developer news and updates. From there, we have over 30 sessions on a range of technical Android development topics, and we'll be answering your hashtag AskAndroid questions live. We released Android 12 to the Android Open Source Project, or AOSP. It'll be coming to devices later on this year, but thank you for your feedback during the beta. Now to recap, Android 12 introduces a new design language called Material U, along with redesigned widgets, notification UI updates, stretch overscroll, and app launch splash screens. We reduced the CPU time used by core system services, added performance class device capabilities, made ML accelerator drivers updatable outside of platform releases, and to improve performance, 12 prevents apps from launching foreground services from the background and using notification trampolines. The new privacy dashboard, approximate location, microphone and camera indicators, and toggles and nearby device permissions give users more insight into and control over privacy. We improved the user experience with a unified API for rich content insertion, compatible media transcoding, easier blurs and effects, AVI of image support, enhanced haptics, new camera effects and sensor capabilities, improved native crash debugging support for rounded screen corners, play as you download, and game mode APIs. So, make sure your apps are ready for Android 12. The final unit planned for Android Basics in Kotlin that covers using Android Jetpack's Work Manager API is now live. Android Basics in Kotlin guides students through learning to program in Kotlin while learning to build Android apps, ultimately developing a collection of apps to start Android developer journeys. The user and permission tools in Play Console have a new decluttered interface and new team management features, making it easier to make sure every team member has the right set of permissions to fulfill their responsibilities without overexposing unrelated business data. We've rewritten permission names and descriptions, clarified differentiation between account and app level permissions, added new search, filtering, and batch editing capabilities, and added the ability to export this information to a CSV file. In addition, Play Console users can request access to actions with a justification. And we've introduced permission groups to make it easier to assign multiple permissions at once to users that share the same or similar roles. Android 11 introduced permission auto reset, automatically resetting an app's runtime permissions when it isn't used for a few months. In December 2021, we are starting to roll this feature out to devices with Google Play services running Android 6.0 or higher for apps targeting Android 11 or higher. Users can manually enable permission auto reset for apps targeting API levels 23 plus. Some apps and permissions are automatically exempted from revocation, like active device administrator apps used by enterprises and permissions fixed by enterprise policy. If your app is expected to work primarily in the background without user interaction, you can ask the user to prevent the system from automatically resetting your app's permissions. The five core Android Jetpack Wear OS libraries are now stable, with all the familiar functionality you've grown used to in the old wearable support library, along with better support for Wear OS 3.0. We strongly recommend you migrate your Wear OS apps from the wearable support library to their Android X equivalents as we make them available and stable. The Mad Skill series covering modern Android development continues to roll on. The Hilt series finished with a live Q&A, and you can check out the recording. The Android Jetpack paging library is now at version 3. TJ has launched a new Mad Skill series to cover it. Paging is designed to help you handle large datasets that come from local storage or over the network within your app, allowing your app to use network bandwidth and system resources more efficiently. The first episode covers how to begin to incorporate paging in your app with content coming from a network data source. It covers how to implement a paging source, create a pager, and expose a stream of paging data from the pager. Future episodes will cover how to consume paging data in the UI and how to work with paging data from two different sources, network and a database cache. For ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or our handy landing page. The Accessibility series continues on to help your app be usable by as many users as possible. Color contrast can not only help users with visual impairments use your app, it can help everyone use your app outdoors in the sun. The video covers best practices such as smaller text needing larger contrast ratios than large text, as well as how to test your app for proper use of color.
Edit text views need to have context for users of TalkBack to avoid them being announced as edit box. The video covers two different ways to avoid this problem, adding an Android colon hint attribute to standalone edit text views and adding an Android colon label for attribute to each text view that serves as a label. Both help TalkBack give appropriate context for a vastly improved user experience. Also, we've added a new code lab that covers accessibility best practices within Jetpack Compose, such as touch target sizes, content descriptions, click labels, and more. If you want even more accessibility content, check out our new accessibility learning pathway. On our blogs, Manuel talks about Headspace's journey to app excellence. They spent eight months refactoring to a model view view model architecture, rewriting in Kotlin and improving their test coverage from 15 to 80%. The improved app experience increased monthly active users by 15% and, and increased review scores from 3.5 to 4.7 between Q2 and Q4 of 2020. Maru continued our app excellence blog series, covering the dimensions of performance excellence, such as stability, loading time, smooth rendering, battery economy, and using up-to-date SDKs. Starting in Android 12, foreground service launch restrictions were introduced, and these restrictions can leave your app in a state where calling set foreground may cause an exception. Karen blogged about how Work Manager 2.7 introduced expedited jobs to help your app execute short and high priority tasks while giving the system better control over access to resources. And Wayne answered some top game development questions we've gotten since launching the Android Game Development Kit, or AGDK, in July, ranging from AGDK libraries and tools, optimizing memory in Android, the upcoming game mode API, and using graphics APIs to target the GPU. Now, there's not a huge amount of notable changes in Android X libraries this week. We've got some small fixes and updates to support Kotlin 1.5.30. Camera X 1.1.0 Alpha 09 dramatically improved the efficiency of our RGBA output, and we've also updated the associated Camera X analysis documentation and the Camera X TF Lite sample. And speaking of documentation updates, we've consolidated privacy and security resources in Design for Safety. The page includes best practices and resources to help you design and implement safe, secure, and private apps. We posted episode 176 of Android Developers Backstage, S stands for System UI, where Chet, Romain, and Tor have a chat with members from the Android System UI team, discussing many of the new features in Android 12's user interface. That's it for this time. With Android Dev Summit 2021 coming soon, Android 12 launching to AOSP, Android Basics, the Hilton Paging Mad Skill Series, Play Console user management updates, permissions auto reset to older devices, Wear OS Jetpack libraries, more of our accessibility series, App Excellence, Android 12 Work Manager and System UI, Camera X analysis updates, and a new design for safety section on developer.android.com. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.